Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to renovate where we take a home that has been pre-built in the sims 4 and we renovate it with a couple of little rules in place i'm not allowed to touch the external walls i have some sims living there and i need to build for them and i can only use the budget that they have so those are the rules and we are in san Mashuno today <gasps> So we're doing an apartment build. I don't actually spend much time in San Maishino, so I'm just like, ooh, this is going to be fun. And we are with the Jang family. So we are going to be building a two-bedroom apartment for these guys. I'm kind of getting the orange-yellow vibes off them. So I'm kind of thinking maybe like even like a touch of, touch of teal. So I'm thinking maybe that could be our color palette, but I wanted to take a look at their personalities and see if there's anything we need to include. Because obviously we don't need to be limited to city living, <laughs> which this uh, apartment is. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second, but let's take a look at our sims and who we're building for today. So we've got Barco here and Barco, hang on, I better check on him. Okay, there we go. So he's a goofball, a music lover. I was going to say, like, he looks like he'd be a music lover. He looks like a cool cat, you know? He's... Uh, got some groovy vibes going on so he's music he's family orientated and gregarious <laughs> okay but yeah let's let's focus on music lovers so we'll add some music to the apartment All right let's have a look at Anya Anaya Anaya so she's an art lover romantic music lover also music lover perfect and a muser so very artsy so let's do an apartment that is very artsy and we've got little Billy and she's a goofball okay so i think we have a plan as far as the vibe we're going for so we're going music lover artsy kind of vibe which i think they kind of have going on here it's very eclectic let's just put it that way um i, I don't know why you would want an advertising billboard in your house but apparently they do and we've got a very green kitchen um this bedroom is vibrant <laughs> Like, I don't hate this apartment, but it's really, it's, it's, it's a style. It's a look. And, I mean, we can do something a little bit more because we are not restricted by packs at all. And, um, yeah, I think we can do something cool. So, let me gut the house and, well, let's, yeah, let's see what we get as far as the budget goes. Okay, so I have gutted the apartment, completely empty there. Uh, and I've sold most of it, but I did keep a few bits and pieces, most well mostly just like the bathroom uh and electronics and the musical instruments that were in the house because i thought these are things that we're probably going to reuse so they're cool but everything else i felt like i wasn't going to probably re probably use so yeah let's see about a floor plan hmm. now we have this really cool space here so i'm thinking maybe that could be the parents bedroom so that and they could perhaps have an ensuite as well um thinking maybe we could go like that and then they can have a walk-in wardrobe too we've got 66,000 simoleons there so yep we've got a little bit to spend which is pretty cool uh and I did get rid of all the windows and stuff because we can actually replace those wherever we like now which is pretty fancy dancies pretty excited about that um you know what we could kind of maybe put the um Billy's bedroom here like that so she can have her own bedroom there. If actually, if we move switch this over and have the walk-in wardrobe there and then the ensuite here, then they can share that. It's just gonna be like a little tiny ensuite and we'll do a bigger bathroom. Hmm. Yeah, because I kind of want this to be sort of lounge, kitchen, dining, and maybe we could have a music room and a bathroom here. So like a big bathroom and then like a, a music room slash study. Is that going to be too po- no, I don't think that's going to be too pokey dokey. I think that's going to be fine. So, like, living here, and then we'll have kitchen slash dining here. That could work. All right, let's get some lighting in. I'm just going to keep it pretty simple as far as lighting goes. I don't think we need anything too complicated in an apartment. So, we've got lounge, kitchen, dining, music room, bathroom, kids room. We can actually extend that out like that. Pretty simple. Let's get some windows in then. Oh, you know what? We can use those really cool lofty apartment window style windows that came with. Is it Machino? Yes, these ones. I've never. I don't. I hardly ever use those, so I'm kind of excited about that. What's? Oh, nice white would be cool. I mean, I know it's not going to match the building, but eh, I guess it's fine. There we are, light and bright. So we need some doors. I think I'm just going to go with some small height doors because. 
at the end of the day, when we're looking at doors that are medium or taller height, I mean, the interior options are just not there. So I am thinking white for the doors at the moment, um, simply because we are going oranges and yellows, which is going to be quite funky to work with. So I'm excited about that. You know, so your windows and your doors will be white because that makes it a bit more of a neutral palette for when we start putting the colours in. Dining, or we'll just do like, yeah, a little corner here for the dining and then kitchen here. So we'll run that along that wall and then this is just going to be sort of your entrance slash living area. Flooring, what are we going to do there? Nah, you know what, I'm going dark, darker brown. The reason for that is uh, when we're looking at oranges and blue, uh, sorry, oranges and yellows, what works really well with orange and yellows is a darker brown rather than the lighter brown. It's just going to, mm, it's not going to work, I don't think. Uh, but if I go with a darker brown, that can actually work really nicely when we start looking at the wall colours. So that means that we can go uh, in a dark brown for the tile on the floor. So probably that one and that one there for our bathrooms let's have a look at our wall options for yellows and oranges and just see this is going to be interesting because i i i highly doubt there's going to be a lot of options that are going to be great so we could go for something like that oh yeah which i instantly like so that was actually not so bad <laughs> And I'm always thinking maybe we can go something like that for uh, that room. So this is from the Oasis, what's it called? Oasis Courtyard Kit, that's right. Oh, what about the tile? Now, that's a good question because we have these lovely tiles from Jungle Adventure. Which one should we go for though? I think that's definitely going to be my tile of choice, but I don't think that really goes with the flooring. But that's fine, we can just change the flooring. I'd rather change the flooring and have the right tile on the wall. Oh, that's actually really good okay we're going with that on the bathroom walls so i just need a color for here for our for our music room and then a color for our master bedroom what if we did orange in there and then orange in there yeah that breaks it up i think okay so we know that we're going to have a walk-in wardrobe there so i'm going to put that straight in we might as well do that because i know it's happening so as i said we'll do white because that's kind of working with what we've already got there with the doors and the windows so that's cool three wide in here so i think we'll just definitely go for a shower maybe do that one Got anything that has the matching i think that's probably the best one holy guacamole that's a toilet i've honestly never <laughs> never looked at this toilet because i just saw that and i've just kind of ignored it because i thought it looked weird and yeah okay it just got weirder that was the that was the more normal palette <laughs> normal more normal swatch uh okay so we'll use the seasons and then maybe we could do the jungle adventure sink as well i think that might be more the vibe yeah so like those touch the teal orange yellow and teal are going to be our colors um with a bit of white obviously just thrown in as the neutral color that sort of mirror would work maybe in the living area just do that as the entrance area mirror maybe because it's uh, you know it's like sort of artsy boho kind of vibe is what we're ooh, going for actually that one uh, let's do that because it's kind of got that little bit of distressed look about it same as this it's not an exact match color wise but it actually matches that really well color wise <laughs> you know what i did I, I actually saved the bathroom stuff from in here oh but we've got a second bathroom to do okay so that's cool mainly i was wanting to save the bath because that's quite expensive for double delight uh so i'll put that stuff in there we'll see i don't know if we'll use it but we'll put it in there anyway now I did keep the toilet roll. Boom. You know what? That toilet doesn't really go. Hmm. Does this one go better? Can we do a toilet switcheroo? Possibly. I don't know if there's any toilet that will go really well with this. Oh, you know what? Let's delete that. We could maybe do like that one there. Because it's kind of got the teal to it, right? So we have our toilet. Then we need our little toilet roll. I do like to shrink that down one because that's quite large otherwise. I think that looks better. I kind of want to do a plant hanging. Ooh. That's nice in the yellow swatch actually. I lucky. Not hanging down. Obviously we have the taller walls, so we've got that to contend with as far as hanging plants and stuff goes. I don't like that toilet. <laughs> I really don't like that toilet. Oh boy. Okay, maybe that one might just work a little better in that style room. And I'm thinking like a little picture above here. Mm. and I think what needs to be I do need to add like in the little bits and pieces but I think we can pull this together maybe with a nice blue rug as well 
All right, we've got some bits and pieces there. So let's get, um, I, you know, actually I know what rug I'm going to do. And it's just a base game rug. This one here, it's a nice, it's a nice simple style rug. And then I just want to put a couple of towels and stuff on the wall. And I think I'll stick those just in white. I don't think we need to go particularly coloured. I think that's just going to be too much teal then. So I just, yeah, I want to keep that white. Okay, so we're going to keep our double delight, actually. Uh, yeah I'm thinking maybe we'll put the bath shower here and then we can have the maybe some counters running along here so we don't need the sink and we can probably put some laundry in here as well although maybe we should have the counters here laundry actually changed my mind entirely put it there for the time being but let's get the laundry in let's go yellow it'll match the room and what color should we go in here oh we can go yellow on this as well Ooh, I think you should kind of want to go white Funnily enough, I think I want to kind of go white in this room. I'm just going to bring up the laundry day pack. Sometimes it's just easier to find things that way. And so I want to do like a little laundry basket. Oh, I know. We can maybe put drawer in there and then laundry basket there. Do that in white and something in behind it. So we're going to do little bits and pieces. What about a zubba dub rubber dub thing? Okay, so I can do some wall stuff here. And maybe you could do like the, put some pieces like that. Yeah. Because, you know, you're in an apartment and you're going to have to kind of make the best of the space that you've got. Well, we could even maybe do the Dutch hutch. But I do want to hang stuff up above. Okay, so no, scrap that. Because I want to have like these little laundry essentials and stuff. You know, you want to have these cute little storage stuff. Actually, you know, I might put the laundry basket there. Okay, so then we can add in our counters. So let's get rid of our laundry day. Something with a white top. Like that. Yes, that should be enough space for the Sims to get in. And so that means we can do a sink in the middle. I, As much as this is like the basic of the sinks, it's like the only round sink we have in the game. And it is a lot more classic to have a, a round sink in a bathroom, I think. Okay, let's get a mirror. I'm just going to use the parenthood one. And we'll add a little bit of clutter. And yes, I know it looks like I'm just wildly placing things. And I am. It's exactly what I'm doing right now, but I am going to place it <laughs> a little bit nicer in a second. Don't you worry. Okay, so I'm just going to get these colours changed. And we're definitely going to go shades of yellow, because there's some really good shades of yellow in this bathroom clutter stuff. So we're going to go that direction. Oh my gosh, that's wrong. So we've got our golden shades. Now we do need a hand towel. Um, that one looks quite nice. Nice and lived in. So toilet. Okay, I'm getting rid of that bath. We'll put the toilet here, and then we'll have the same shower again as we used in the other room. Although that doesn't really go as well. Let's go with that one. And I'm thinking like a little bath in the middle would be quite cool. Let me move that over there. And then that turned around like that. We could do a built-in bath. So by a built-in bath, which won't be that bath, um, what I actually mean is you take like a square bath like that, and you get your half walls, and you draw around it. It's a two, so it's size two wall, and so I'm thinking like that, and then we can go in like that, and then we can have sort of like a little custom bath slash shower kind of unit, which would be quite cool. I've just got to find a bath that fits nicely in there. All right, so I think I'm going to use the Jungle Adventure one, because I do like that Jungle Adventure set. So I do have the little problem of a space here, so we need to, we need to hide that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the immaculate shelving and shrink it down by one, shrink it down by one and just move it across like that. And that's going to basically block that end so it doesn't look so weird. Uh, by weird I mean empty. And then it top in white like so. And hopefully that'll look alright. Obviously we want to dress this up around the bottom there like that. Oh, so let's put some clutter around. So I want to use this one here from Tiny Home Living. And along the shelf, we can actually put some little bits and pieces, some little lotions and potions and, you know, all those sorts of things. I wonder if we can fit like a little plant on here somewhere. This one here from Greenhouse Haven. Might work better there. Kind of want something to sit on this corner. Like that. And we can have like a cool picture here. Ooh, what about that? And maybe we can do some towels coming down here. So we'll do that in our classic white. Little towel there. And oh, we haven't done around the toilet yet. Oopsie. Yeah, let's change the shower. I don't I just I don't think that I want to pull off two different tiles in the same room. I think that might be asking a bit much. Alright, so let's have a plain shower. And then we've got our plain bath. Oh, you know what? I might actually lift that up a little bit. 
And then we can maybe have like a reading light here. Ooh, with a touch of the teal. <gasps> yeah. Okay, uh, a little reading light. What if we did like some cute little lights? That would be super cute. I find these quite hard to place. So these are from the little campers kit. But yeah, I find them quite hard to place because they, they start quite low. And I yeah, they kind of sit weird, but they are so cute. Toilet, leave that blank, leave that blank. Okay, I think we're done with the bathroom. Let's put a rug in though. Let's try this one. Character defining rug. Kind of works with the shower. Actually, I quite like that. It's a busy old room, but I think it works. I don't know what I'm going to do in the kitchen. Let's see what we're going to do in the kitchen. I'm going to start with a, with a fridge. Look at this. Could we go blue in the kitchen? Because we've got so much yellow walls. I mean, that would be amazing. And then maybe parent. Oh, yes. Ooh, parenthood. Okay, I love this. This is bright and I think very sort of, you know, in keeping with our, with our uh, Sims. Okay, so this is going to be our kitchen and we'll put a dining table in the middle should i block this off sorry i do, I, I was just thinking uh thinking in my head <laughs> should i block this off and then i was like you know what i should actually say that out loud uh should i block this off that's a good question let's go with that and i'm gonna take off the color filter dishwasher do that on the side so you can't see that so much so we've got a nice like there and i was gonna do the dining table i mean there's three of them so we want to have a nice sized dining table maybe circular we could go maybe a dark brown or a white. I think white might be the best. And then we can maybe mix it up with some cool kitschy chairs. Maybe an orange and yellow. Let's see what we've got. We could do these trendy chairs from high school years and the two different shades of orange. Oh yeah, I think that's cool. And that works really nicely because the walls are very yellow. I'm actually thinking I won't change the color of the walls here, but I am thinking I will draw in maybe a little divider. Because I was just talking about that, and I think a minute ago, but just going like that. Now, have I got that in the right place? I don't think I do. Bring that in one and oh, rug. <gasps> ah, don't know what to do with a rug. I'm gonna put a nice bowl of fruit there. Just wondering if I put more counters on the walls, but we could possibly do those in white. And I realise I haven't put a rubbish bin in, which is a slight problem. Uh, and maybe we do a nice different one there. It is nice to just have like the different kinds of counters that you can sort of put together and mix it up a little bit. Let's see what we can do for a nice white one like that. Why does this one look off? Okay, that looks better. We actually have quite a lot of counter space. I'm rethinking the blue. Let me just try this with the white. I think a different rug. We can bring the teal in there and I'm going to actually change the, after all that, I'm going to change the counters around. I'm gonna, actually going to leave the top counters as they are, but I want to do a white countertop. So those counters aren't going to work. However, the jungle adventure ones, so <laughs> I'm just going to go jungle adventure hard in this one, I guess. But you know what? If the color's right, the color's right. So what are you going to do about it? I do a half count half counter there and then we can put the rubbish bin in beside there that would make sense like so do a little plant just to kind of hide the fact there's a rubbish bin there a stinky old stinky rubbish bin there we go and let's get our alarms on so we're going to have our fire alarm and our sprinkler boop and we'll do our thermostat at the door somewhere boop that's that's gelling with me a lot better more harmonious i did like the blue but it just with the yeah just with all the colors it was a bit much let's see whether or not there is a good teal rug to go underneath yeah yeah oh i like it just like little touches of the teal and like there's a little bit of teal there on the glass and like the browns which already work with the room oh <gasps> And it's like a funky pattern, which works with the characters. Okay, let's get some clutter on. Okay, so I'm just getting a little bit of clutter on in the corner. So I've just found a few bits and pieces that I thought would work. And I thought we could have a dish rack there. Maybe like a used looking cup beside it because it's ready to be washed. You know, you know how it goes. I'm always thinking maybe we could put in some hand soap or something like that. And beside there, you know, from the bathroom kind of stuff. So let's get that in. There we are, and oh yeah, there isn't actually that much counter space, so I'm not going to put too much clutter in, but I am going to put a bit on the the walls. Wall-wise, let's go decorations and dig around. What are we going to find in here? There's this like um, virgin olive oil kit, which I think is cute. And olive oil is good to cook with, you know? It's a little bit healthier than your old saturated fat kind of oils. Okay, so we've got like the spoons and stuff, and then we can have the knives going in there. Okay, so we've got some nice little wall stuff there. Now, can I fit that tea thing in? Maybe up here. 
There you are, little T-Rex. And I was thinking also putting a coffee machine in. Schmackle, because why not? Although, we do have a nice sort of teal in that. What if we did like a hutch or something there? Maybe that would work better. I can pull that in against the wall more. There we go. Okay, and then I need something above it uh, to hang up. Ooh, we can maybe do these. And like a little picture here. Um, we can maybe put some clutter on there as well. So let's do that. Oh, sometimes it's hard to sort through all this stuff. So like salt and pepper. I've got like utensils and stuff that uh, was part of the horse ranch. Horse ranch thing. Pack. And there is... <sighs> just trying to find it it's like a condiment kind of type of thing it's not the base game one that i'm talking about it's actually one of the stuff packs it has a condiment thing although like a recipe book would be quite cool there but i always i always struggle to find it oh we could do tea <gasps> tea would work for me there okay let's do tea because i kind of got this some little condiments there so that worked living room okay what if we do couch tv there couches and armchairs there a little entrance way here and then we can maybe have another couch Ooh, what if we did like the spooky one and the teal oh yeah although are we going full teal or do we want to maybe go white oh white with the teal yes and that works so nicely with a mirror <gasps> yes so we'll have our keys and oh mail 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 or there there we go coins so we've got our cool little thing i feel like we need something to divide this off like a shelf uh, before i do that let's build the tv unit and just see how that sort of comes together do we want to do something like that with that tv then we've got the matching shelves from tiny home as well i mean tiny home obviously works really well because it's an apartment so that you know it makes sense to have tiny home stuff so we could go like that and then we have like a bit of space here so let's see what we got in the way of couches i'm always thinking if we have something in this in this shade would be quite cool oh what about that because it's got the teal and the yellow <gasps> Nifty knitting, thank you very much. I think that could work actually. What have we got in the matching chair? Yes, nifty knitting, you little winner. Perfect. Maybe a nice flower on top as well. So rug wise, I really don't know. Cause we've got quite a bit of white, quite a bit of orange, maybe yellow, maybe brown, maybe teal. Something like this one. This is from a stuff pack. <laughs> one of them that's cool kitchens isn't it i love that stuff back actually you know what that works nicely okay so i've got like a little dilemma with what to put in that space there uh and we do need to put a couch here but i want to do a different couch to this one i'm thinking maybe something in white and then we can pop it out with a little bit of teal i actually kind of like that because it kind of matches the um the same th sort of thing as the nifty knitting with a couple of cushions and the long cushion running across it i think the teal oh yeah okay it's got a touch of the teal and we can put in a end table and end table but that with the books under it i almost want to put something like wicker in there change of plan this one here there we go okay let's go through the colors and see if there's any color that works that's got a detail oh that uh no it doesn't really work with the rest of the room okay we could go with that like pretty plain and simple but i think that could work bring that in over there on an angle once again there's three of them so you know kind of accounting for that i like the uh, the idea of the wicker i think that works nicely for the artsy kind of boho vibe oh we could go with that that's the city living one it's got like the same sort of colors i think that could work quite nicely but we can maybe pop the do a pop of teal something tealish on the wall maybe Let's get green and blue up and just see what we can bring up as far as artwork on a rug and flowers go. Oh, we could go like that. Uh, don't like the flower, but like that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes, that works. Okay, and then on the wall, what are we going to put on the wall? <gasps> oh, I know. This one from Seasons. Hello there, Teal. What are we going to put in this space here? You know what? I do want to do a door rug, a door, a floor rug, a door rug, a door rug, a floor rug. I think because this is a very teal in this area and I feel like it just needs like a pop of orange uh, just to balance it out. Something like that. Yes. Uh, that door not showing through is annoying. Uh, we do kind of need something here. Okay. Uh, how are we doing on budget? Oh, still got 30,000. So we're doing absolutely fine on budget. Oh, we didn't actually find any artwork for here. And I'm always thinking something for there as well. Would it be weird if we put a chest set in there? Because it did have the, like, the house did come with a chest set. I, I did delete it. Oh, I didn't even use, like, the TVs and stuff. <gasps> oh, no, that's for our music room. Uh, we have got, like, two computers as well. Maybe we can put these in the bedrooms. But we haven't used the stereo. There we go. We use the stereo. And this is for our music room. Let's go put these in the music room. Music room slash study. I'll have to hang on to those in there and then those in there. Go for something like that and what chairs. Same as what we had here. So maybe uh, one of each color. And we'll just move that over a smidge. 
And I think if we bring in, I think maybe we'll change that to white. If we bring in like a little picture here, I think that could work really nicely too. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking one of the pictures from Get Famous, it has orange through it because it's got the orange and the blue. Yes. So I also need something for above here and for down there. Well, what about this? Um, yes. Okay, so we got that. <laughs> it was an easy find. Now, I do need something tall and long, which is a little bit harder, I think, than the wider ones. I, I do find that anyway. But there is this one here that is a locked one, and that is from City Living. And it does have the, sort of the teal and blue, so yes. Okay, that's our living room. So let's move on to... Let's do the music and study room first. I mean, that's going to be pretty straightforward, I think. So we've got our nice teal keyboard. Let's do that under the window, so then they can look out the window and boogie on down and I'm thinking put like a couple of instruments here in the corner and I want to do like a little chair here so they can sit there and jam I know all the cool terms guys jam get down with it get groovy boogie on oh yeah I know all about the cool terms so I'm wondering maybe we can go for something like that in here mm. what do we use in here again I don't want to go that color obviously but maybe we have something to call white That'll do the job. Yes, we do. So there we go. So they can sit there and they can jam on that. Get down with it. Boogie on. What if we did the desk under here? Because we're going to like, you know, again, just thinking about the view and how we use the view and how, you know, the Sims might like to enjoy looking at the window while they're doing their little works on the things. I'm going to use the Crystal Creations one because why not? Chair wise, might go the lighter orange. And although it's, uh, ooh, we could go with the teal stripe. That's nice. Although I don't like the pink through it. Okay, we'll just go with that. And one of the computers that we've got saved in here. So there we go. Just like that. And I think a bookshelf as well. Because you can't have a study without a bookshelf, I don't think. Okay, and we'll put another one on top. Just go a little bit higher. Cool. And I'm thinking also a freestanding lamp. Okay, so we've got that, that, that. A little bit of clutter on the desk. Won't go astray. I'm going to access the beautiful everyday clutter kit. Because it is beautiful. And it has what we need. So we've got pens, we've got protector clutter, electric doodads, headphones, glasses, maybe even a magazine stack, inspiration right there, notebook because you've got to write down those notes, and a drink bottle because you get thirsty. I have a drink bottle sitting by my computer, you know, full of water that I fill up a couple of times a day. Oh, I know. This will do nicely, nice hanging bookshelf with little bits of pieces on there and a plant and stuff. Boom, done. There we go. We'll do the white version of the armchair that we put in there. I haven't gone overboard on the plants in this in this build, which is unusual for me because normally I do go overboard on the plants because I like them and I think they make the house look pretty. So that's what I do. So sue me. No, don't sue me. I don't have any money. There we go. And we just need a, ni a nice print in behind here and a rug. Although I'm thinking maybe something from uh, that Get Famous stuff because it has all the colour colors that we're really using so that does make it kind of easier that one there there we go we do need something for here as well maybe something in a different shape so it's not very samey samey oh that's cool like pictures of their travels and a nice rug i'm thinking you know what i actually want to change the color of that keyboard oh we could go for something like this this is from uh cats and dogs that does work works with the chair works with the rest of the room i mean it's a slightly different teal like it's more green when i went up i was kind of like oh you know what there we go that kind of more works okay kids room so i want them to have a desk and curtains and i mean not, not, not that it really matters oh well, i guess it kind of does people have um, you know binoculars and stuff so i guess people can still peep people will find a way to peep if they're going to peep they're going to find a way beautiful nice teal and you know what? Actually, I don't like the teal. Maybe go plainer. I think just that color is like it's slightly different, different shade. So I don't think that really works. And I think I'm just gonna see if that dream home decorator rug that is locked. What shades we have in that that could work? Sorry, I just saw this, saw that rug, and I was just kind of like, um, hello. Oh, that rug's cool too. What if we did that rug in there and this rug in here? Yeah. That changes the bed, obviously. I know brown isn't really the colour of little girls, but what if we went <laughs> what if we went brown in the bed? Or maybe it's just something with a pattern on it. I want to change the wallpaper. Okay, we're gonna be changing the wallpaper because I've just it's just a little too red for me. So let's go to orange and I'm gonna keep it orange. I just I just not quite that shade. I want to more match the shade that's in the rug. I think that'll just because like that's a bit more too a bit too strawberry if that makes sense. 
but if we go so even like that but I just kind of want a slightly lighter shade than that but I don't know if I'm gonna get okay so I think we might have to go like a slightly brighter orange but I think that works nicely with the bed although that blue isn't quite right oh hang on what if we went back for this get rid of that rug <laughs> oh man but that looks really cool right that looks that works really nicely so and we can maybe do a green rug underneath so oh, this is the evolution of building it's it's how it all comes together hmm what about we could go for something like that kind of has the oranges and the greens through it i almost want to go a little bit smaller though and i think tonally that does work with the rest of the rest of the house as well okay let's try that and see whether or not we can pull that off so that's from discover university it's just it's quite a lot with the wall but we'll see how we go i do want to use the high school years side table as well which comes in this green and a nice lamp i might go hard on high school years i am thinking like there is a little uh, i think from the pastel pop kit there's a little it's a little shelf wall hanger type thing which i think is super cute and that could look cute in a little girl's room i wonder if these oh these could work as well hang on i'll just put those there come back to that there it is it just went over it like 63 times so that's cute and maybe we could do a little end table underneath that just thinking like a little bit of uh, contrast color there there we go that's cute i've never used this before so <laughs> i'm kind of like i don't know but anyway <laughs> i'm gonna go for it so I'm almost thinking maybe bookshelf there. Ooh, or oh, we do we do need to have a study area. So I'm thinking maybe let's let's do that first because that will determine the rest of the room. Yellow and teal. Yes. Okay. Great. And we had another computer in here, so that's great. Uh, we should be able to get a matching chair because that's high school years and it does have chairs galore. I love the swatch. I think it's so cute. Anyway, we'll go over the lighter swatch in this room. But anyway, I do love that swatch. Uh, okay, so we've got our little study area. So we probably need like a low bookshelf. What if we did a couple of bookshelves and then we move this over a smidge like that and we'll put these in white chair in here and i'm definitely thinking the the wicker one because that matches the bed yeah, there is a high school years one as well but let's do the egg chair color that one and so that means we need i might put some shelves up here we can put some um study clutter up there okay so i've got some shelves there so let's go into everyday clutter and we'll do our bits and pieces of clutter we have some notes magazine once again a cap a uh, drink bottle hydrated people maybe have some shoes down there as well headphones recolored boom done this is looking sweet and girly so we haven't done a dresser yet so let's do the this is why i wanted to do the desk because i wanted to work out where the dresser was going to go oh we could go white on this okay cool so let's maybe put this above the bed they're quite chunky shelves but they are a good little space filler let's do you know what there's actually a little chair that comes with i think it's parenthood that i really like and it actually comes in a really nice teal swatch this one here is like a, oh no it's not parenthood it's a toddler toddler stuff pack okay so that means our dress is gonna go here and i think we'll just stick with high school years because i mean that's if we've got the you know that color swatch running through then why not mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all Okay, so I want to get the high school years swatch, I mean uh, clutter, I think we should be able to, I'm just going to move this over a smidge just to make sure that we've got enough room to get in the, in the door, sometimes sims can be a little fussy about that. I'm doing a table and I'm just going to have clutter on it, like you know, just like a space where there's like room for you to do things, an arts and crafts hobby table, yeah like that, ah, oh, perfect! Hello there, perfect thing. Oh, look at that. Like it's got a little chalkboard, a little bit. All right, some little bits and pieces. Um, what else? What about else that's crafty? I don't think knitting. Oh, what about that? Cute little things. Okay. Yes, I like that. That's a cute little crafty kind of cool area. I would have loved to have something like that in my room when I was a girl because, you know, activities and things to do. Look at that. That's our learning poster. Ah ha ha and maybe something here as well oh yeah cute what colors we got hello pretty days ahead yes i really like that i think that's a cute little room okay last room but certainly not least it's going to be our master bedroom what are we using here let's just copy that down i'm rethinking that rug now it's a cool rug but it doesn't have the teal through it <gasps> what if we use that i think that's in the range of colors 
Okay, so let's try and see if we can find a bed that works with this. What if we went for like the wicker bed again? Just keeping with that sort of boho theme. These ones here. Okay, let's see what we've got in the way of design. And if we've got anything that will work with that rug. Okay, let's see if we can pull this one off. That rug doesn't work with it. <sighs> you know what, it's going to work with that. I think maybe like a light brown. If I've got anything that has like maybe a touch of the colours that we're looking for with it. I think that should work. Okay, side table. Let's do those from high school years. And then uh, we'll do the matching lamps. A boom and a boom. Yeah, that's pretty. That's nice. I mean, it's not like a huge bedroom. So we're not going to fit heaps in here. But we are going to have a nice, uh, a nice amount of space for a dresser. So I'm actually thinking maybe we put in another little like this. Have that sort of blocked off a little bit. Just to create that, you know, illusion of this is a separate area kind of. This is a deliberate area kind of thing. We don't need a dresser because we've got this but maybe we have like a dressing area so um like a vanity yeah let's do a vanity yeah makeup kind of area so we'll do that and ooh, maybe we can do like the cute little night light thing up there as well add a little bit more light to the situation ha 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 and oh yeah hair dryer that has a really weird clip slot this um this vanity i find like it's like right up under the mirror so it's like why more bits and pieces and there we are all right so we've got our little dressing area and maybe we could have what if we did like a little tv here oh which we've got a little tv and oh you know what we're actually doing really well for money me just realizing so we can do a tv here and then we can do maybe an armchair there they can sit there and watch the tv so we'll do the wicker armchair homeschool years armchair again there you go hiding from me you little rascal and oh my gosh i thought i'd center that and i really didn't <laughs> okay let's do something under there maybe like the trunks yeah like that that's big can i push it back a bit although there's a really cool teal yes let's do the teal in that whoop, whoop, whoop. should be able to put like some little books and stuff on there i reckon you know what we didn't put in here we didn't put an easel in here uh, let's go see if we can put an easel in the study because i just remembered she was uh into art the old mower so we should probably try and squeeze an easel in here somewhere. Cozy blankets. Ooh, the chest thing. Yes. Um, have I got any space? Oh, we've got a little bit of space over here as well. I was just thinking if we had, we can put, uh, we can put the easel there. Okay, boom, done. Ah, oh, no, I'm gonna put that in the study. Let, let's let's go do that. But we can actually get rid of that bookshelf because we've got another bookshelf there, so it's actually okay to get rid of that, and then we can have our easel in the corner here, like so. What if we had a cool cabinet or something that we can, that maybe can have some artsy fartsy boho type stuff in it. Or, ooh, ooh, this with the blankets and, uh, not that one. This one with your cozy blankets and stuff. Yay. And then I'll do some artwork on the wall. So we have that there and maybe a little plant at the corner. There we go. And definitely need something over here. So we've got our, our little lights are there. So we'll put something here. Yes. All right, and then we've got our TV there okay guys well let's take a tour of what we did because i think we're done okay well this is our little entrance area the door's a bit stuffed up but hey not much i can do about that right now uh but yeah i love all the teals the oranges and uh the yellow on the wall and then swinging around we've got the artwork the chess set and then we go into our little entertainment area over here so swinging through there and once again just keeping up with the colour theme that we decided on and I think the personality as well with the boho. And then moving around we're going through to the kitchen area so I love how this came out. I love the table and the rug and the kitchen stuff so I'm really happy with how this looks overall. I think going with the white cabinets did make a big difference. And you can see all the little bits of pieces are cluttered there, the lived in look to it. So I think this is going to be super functional but pretty at the same time. Plus, I mean, look at that view. You've got this amazing view out the window. So you're cooking and you're looking down over the world. I mean, whew, that's nice. And then we've got a little bit of sort of dining clutter, I guess, up on the wall and some beautiful artwork, which I feel would work really well with these guys. And then zooming on through to the study slash music room slash art room. So this is where all the creative juices flow. Uh, amazing views out the window while you're walking, uh, working or when you are doing your creative magic as well. I mean, look at that, looking out the window, absolutely perfect. And then uh, you can sort of see just, you know, a nice comfortable lived in space. All right, let's zoom through the wall, zing, 
and here we are in the bathroom so we have all our lovely little features our gorgeous bath our laundry and there's plenty of clutter and you can tell this is a family kind of uh, bathroom that does get a lot of use and I think the tile works really nice for the for the people that live in this house as well the jangs because you know they I think they're the sort of the boho kind of people so I think that works really nicely okay now let's go take a look in Billy Jang's room so this is her room we definitely went like quite a strawberry color but I think that's still on their orange spectrum and I think that works really nicely we've got like the teals still through in there and a touch of the yellow too and I think this is sort of the type of bedroom that is both functional and pretty at the same time so you can sort of see how she's going to use this bedroom but at the same time it does look um, aesthetically rather pleasing so I'm really happy with how this one came out I particularly like the little touch of the arts and crafts and stuff over in the corner I think that's very kidsy so I think that's super cute okay let's go take a look in the ensuite here it is over here lots of patterns it's quite a lot uh, you can sort of see all the bits and pieces here around and around we go and that's <laughs> that's the sink I actually really like that sink I think it's very cool okay and then we'll zoom on through to the other side and here we are in the last room of the house and this is the master suite so we went with the teal bed in this one but I think that makes sense because we've got the orange walls so it is that contrast color and you can see they've got the walk-in wardrobe there they've got the tv a little seating and they've got a vanity as well so I think that's all very cool and we definitely came in under budget so yeah I think I'm really happy with how this came together it was an interesting challenge because uh, obviously we've got personalities to work with but I think it all came together well thank you so much for watching I hope you guys had fun and I will catch you in the next video bye bye